one of the southernmost points of the United States, is home to a Civil War era fort. Once bustling with as many as 2,000 residents, Fort Jefferson now has just a handful, and they're all park rangers. Explore the land and the hidden world beneath the sea of Dry Tortugas National Park with NPS diver Curtis Hall. Fort Jefferson makes up less than 1% of the park. The other 99% is submerged beneath beautiful, clear, blue waters. Hidden from view is one of the most biologically diverse ecosystems found anywhere. I came to Fort Jefferson for the first time as a child more than 25 years ago. I never imagined I'd one day be working here, diving the pristine waters, and educating visitors on our resources. Dry Tortugas is a fascinating mix of natural and cultural resources. And it's our job to help conserve them for future generations. Follow our ranger divers Brian and Nick to experience the reef up close. Or Mikey and I to explore the Windjammer shipwreck. early morning hours of 1907, the Avanti, today known as the Windjammer, braved a hail of wind and waves. A miscalculation by the ship's captain would have grave consequences. The ship struck Loggerhead Reef, devastating its iron hull. The crew survived. However, the Avanti wasn't so lucky. While its loss was unfortunate, the sailing ship found a second life as a vibrant coral reef. Numerous colorful reef fishes, corals, and marine life call its bones home, making it a fantastic place to snorkel and dive. If I asked you whether coral was an animal, a plant, or a rock, what would you say? If you said all three, you'd actually be correct. Corals in the animal kingdom but it has a plant that lives inside of it called zooxanthellae, and it also secretes a hard mineral shell. Some of the coral you see here is hundreds or even thousands of years old. Healthy coral means a healthy ocean, with everything from vibrant and striking plant life to bigger fish. Coral is also very delicate and globally on decline. When the ocean temperatures continue to rise or coral is damaged from boat groundings, it often dies. And when coral dies, it affects multiple levels of the food chain. But today, we have endangered species of coral that once almost extinct, are currently growing in size and abundance. designed in such a way that no matter where a ship was positioned in the water, over a hundred cannons, like the one behind you, could be pointed at it, ready to fire. From here, explore Fort Jefferson. Listen to the sounds beneath the water's surface. is comprised of 16 million bricks and designed to hold over 400 cannons, 120 of which can fire at a single target. 